I'm a filthy little goblin and I must be punished. Right, hello and welcome to Goblin Camp. It's out in demo and Steam. It's going to be released in 2024 and it is similar but different to RimWorld. Right, so we have very limited options. It is only a demo, so we can do a small or standard map. We can choose nothing else pretty much you have various starting conditions we do have a tech tree so i assume these um, indicate how far along you are on the tech tree or maybe that's a difficulty level here so you have neolithic farming advanced and hardcore you have a different kind of land masses as well lakes swamps meadows and devil's fields whatever they are we also have the dangers we can face such as wild animals invaders dangerous weather and flooding all right let's get started as the infinite snake eats itself so it's made by a finnish company there's three people in the team it's called corpy games limited nice that they're limited so they don't get sued and lose all their personal wealth so goblin camp is a fancy city building game inspired by finnish mythology deep simulation mechanics capture the unique challenges of surviving the harsh winters and carving a thriving settlement out of the northern forest. Leave, lead your goblins to greatness. Okay, so we're going to help our little blue smurfs become great. Maybe defeat Gargamel along... No, I don't think that's this game. Right, so once it finishes loading, which should be by the time the snake head hits the top of this tree here. Come on, snake. Move your little bum. Eat your tail. Come on, press any key, comes down here. I think we have Finnish mythology or Finnish poetry going on in the background here. I don't know Finnish mythology or poetry, so, well, I'm aware of a goblin. So, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say what it is. Right, intro. For untold ages, the ways between the worlds were shut. But now, as if a wind has blown and shaken the great tree and the gates are opening again, a small band of curious goblins from the underworld have found a portal to the middle realm. Beyond it is a beautiful but dangerous northern forest. Curious goblins would like to make a new home for themselves in it. It's now up to you to guide them on their journey in a new world. Okay, fair enough. There is literally fuck all of a tutorial, tutorial in this demo. So it just tells us we have a few food shortage and we should build a fisher. So what we're going to do is plonk a fisherman down here. Let's tab it round so it actually faces the water. There you go. And our five little goblins, they're run over. So it needs twigs to make the fisher. So they're going to chop down the furthest tree possible to bring the twigs over and build the fisher's shack. Now, another thing we're going to want, it doesn't tell us, but if we go to the buildings, we're going to want a carpenter. So let's place that down over here. And with that, we can build tools. So here they are running over with their sticks. They get that built. There you go. He's hammering away with his hand. There's a little ghost walking by. No idea what they are. They are mentioned up the top here. Spirits. We have unspent spirits. So I assume we can use them to do something in future. Technology, fishing. So we've built this building. It gives us more technology, essentially. So it unlocks the potential to research smoking, where we smoke the food, not where we have a cigar or something like that. But we can also now build the fishing work shack, which we actually need to build. If we go here, or fishing workshop. Well, it says workshop there, but work shack there. So, yeah. If we put that down here, what this does, it makes fishing spears. And we need fishing spears for the fishers to fish. So, we plonk that down. That'll get built. Again, it will need twigs. Sometimes it will need logs as well. Various other resources. And, yeah, we continue our colony. We started off with five goblins. It's not exactly a huge amount, but yeah, it is what it is. Let's actually... Hmm, what are we going to build? What did we want to build? We want a kitchen. So once they actually get the food, they need to go to a kitchen to eat it and cook it. So we'll set that down too as well. 
and that will be lined up for them to run around and build. So in this game you have a list of jobs, here they are, there's probably about 20 or 30 there, and they're given different priorities, they all seem to be medium at the moment. I don't think you can change them, it's different from Rim Rimworld in that respect. Um, Rimworld you could give uh, the pawns like various different numbers to assign them to jobs. Good, so we've built our carpenters so we can now build other things and we can actually build stuff. So unlike Rimworld, if you want something to get done, you've got what's called a stock manager. So if we want that carpenter to build digging sticks, which probably are used for digging, we have to put it here and then somebody will do that job. Same with earthenware pots, firewood. Yeah, we want some firewood. Why not? Fish traps. Nope. We do want the fishing spears though. So if we get five fishing spears, that'll go to the fishing hut and then they'll make fish. So from the fishing hut we want 10 fresh fish so we have some food stored some bread although i don't think we actually get to that production line for bread let's do willow branches no idea what they're used for and let's get some wooden poles oh it's an improvised weapon and willow branches it just says a bunch of willow branches okay fair enough so there is a lot. There's a whole technology tree, which I'll get to in a bit once we've done some building. That will get built. So we have things up here. We need a potter to make the earthenware pot, which I've just sent to be built. So if we build a potter over here as well, let's build it next to it there. That will use clay to make pottery. Now this land here on the left looks a bit different from the right, and that's because it's clay soil. If you look in the bottom right, it tells you fertility and what's actually underneath and whether there's shade or not. No idea what shade is. So we can build a clay pit over here and then the goblins will go and start mining clay. And that clay will then go to the potter and then the potter will make earthenware pots and that will allow us to drink. Oh good, our fishing shack's built. So the goblins making the fishing spears taking it over to the fishing hut and now he's fishing so that's one chain kind of uh, done or one supply chain you can upgrade buildings you can upgrade tools you use you can get different materials stone iron bone as well when you kill animals speaking of which killing animals we will get raided at some point so we need a guard shack and with the guard shack we have a guy go and sit in there and then if anything attacks, they go out and they kill that thing. Right, where are we? What else have we got to do? Ruins. Let's try and find some ruins if we can. So as you notice in the forest, there's loads of fog. We need to cut back the forest and then that will dispel the fog and then we can expand as you may notice, or as you can see, it's actually quite a large map. I mean, I've scrolled down a fair bit, and considering the size of buildings, yeah, we've done okay. Right, so we've got new technology, pottery. That's from building the potter's shack or the clay mine. Oh, the clay mine. So what will happen now is someone will go over to that clay mine, start hammering away and getting clay. Are they going to do it? Nope, they're building the guard hut first. So with the guard shack, you can choose what... There you go, there's someone bashing away now. He's digging out the clay. And then that will go over to the potter. And then we'll start making earthenware pots. And we need the pots to gather water and for the guys to drink. And for putting out fires, which seem to start quite frequently. Use, usually when they use the kitchen here, they set a fire and then it will just spread everywhere. And if you don't have the pots, no one will put it out. So we have a guard check done. This dickhead will come and stay here and we can choose what weapon he has, but we're going to disable that. There you go. We've got a fire already somewhere. Where is it? Over here. Thankfully, we had an earthenware pot, so I went and put it out. Good. Someone's cooking. Yes, we disabled this because we've only got five goblins at the moment. We don't want one guy just standing around doing nothing when there's plenty of other things to do. Right, let's give these dudes some houses. We'll do it near the clay. Let's do what? Mm, I didn't do it. Build multiple. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you go, eight houses, and I think it's two a pop, so that will mean maximum 16 people. So with the housing, we have something here, which is the gateway rock, and that's the gateway to the underworld. I think that's where new goblins come up through. I think you need to make your goblins mildly happy before they actually do anything. All right, now, is that our nearest ruin? Probably is, you know. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this, but oh well, we have to do it. It's a bit far away. So to dispel the fog, you can either chop down the trees or you can build something called a raven statue. It helps clear the forest cover. Now you have to build it outside the fog. And I think if I place that there, it will get built and then it will dispel the fog. So what I want to do is make my way to this ruin and then we can explore that. I think ruins give you either research or something special anyway. But yeah, we're going to build the raven statue to actually get there. Probably want another fishing hut as well. So let's do that too. Right, where are you, fisher? Build. And let's rotate you. Yeah. You can go there. Right, good. And let's just check our stock manager. So we've got some apples from a tree. So let's actually set that to 10 so they go and get that food whenever they see it. Fish traps, I don't think we can use. Let's just get five raw clay as well. Oh, one thing I haven't built yet, which we can probably do now, is a warehouse, storehouse even. Notice here you have different tiers. This is just made out of branches. We also have bricks and stones we can eventually use, so you can upgrade these. But yes, if we build a couple of storage shacks, that will stop our stuff being stored outside, much like Rimworld. Uh, things go bad if you leave them outside for too long. So let's just place two here, and that will hopefully suffice our needs our little shacks are being built so our goblins can have a nap if they need and we're getting the five clay we've requested to and has this raven statue been done yet no way of not ah there it is it's gonna get done i think it needs a log to be made oh there you go this dude's carrying over the log go on my son oh so if we click on the guy, ore pack, sounds like a Finnish butter or Swedish butter, lure pack. Um, it tells us his speed, working speed, hit points, willpower, morale, fighting skill, shooting skill. And then much like Rimworld, it's got experience. So lumbering, farming, fishing, digging, woodworking, sawing, metalworking, blah, blah, blah. It's got a lot. One thing I don't know what's for is heckling. It means they build a comedy club and then shout at the uh, guy standing on stage telling jokes. I don't know. Right, so he is hopefully going to build this raven statue. I think it only takes a log. Okay, he's just going to drop it off for now. He's a bit tired after that. I was going back here to build this fishing hut. Alright, fair enough. So, where's that on jobs priority? It's there somewhere. Craft items, dig ground, store items, build simple lean to. Okay, it's quite far down. If we got lean tos before the raven statue, it will get built eventually. Okay, so we've got enough housing. If we look in the top left, we have enough kitchens. We have kitchen seating for eight and only five population. And we have housing for 12 at the moment and only five population. And we have 15 jobs per goblin at the moment. When I first played Rimworld, I set down like a whole forest to be chopped down and <laughs> nothing got done. It's probably much the same here. I've lined up a fair bit for them to do, so they're going to take a while to get round to everything and get things done. I do want this goblin statue. Ah, raven statue. There you go. So the raven statue has been done, and that should dispel the fog it has a little but not as much as i'd like hmm i think we're going to need to chop trees as well that's a timely uh, process 
to explore this we need to clear all the fog around it if we don't clear the fog we're not going to explore we don't really have that many people to uh, chop down trees at the moment is there one closer there's not is a bastard we need more goblins we need more filthy little goblins all right let's go through the buildings that we have so we've done the storage we also have a scuttlebutt which stores water not available in the demo we have a bonfire i assume that raises their mood not available in the demo we do have a weather vane i have no idea what a weather vane is used for let's just stick one here anyway well, I know what it's used for, but I don't know what it's used for in the game. Funny fuck. Right, okay, what else have we got? We've got fences, we've got palisades, and we've got wooden stakes. So we can actually build a massive palisade around the camp and then just have one entrance. I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> it's a bit much to do in the demo. We have medicine shack to heal goblins. They will get injured when they fight. And because it's finished, they have a sauna. Of course they have a fucking sauna. It's finished. It would be illegal not to. Um, <clears throat> I assume that does something for health or happiness. <coughs> All right, let's clear the throg in my throat and then we continue. All right, so what do we need to do? We need a meal to produce wire flour. It's null in the demo, so I click on it and it comes up searching for meal. It's not there. Let's go to technology. So we have this whole technology tree. Up in the top left, you have our research points. We get one per season. And I think we get them from ruins as well. I could be wrong. And then you have all these different things you have to research. Bit of disparity going on here. To research planks costs four, but to research spinning costs 900. So yeah, that's not really attainable at the moment. I assume where it's a demo, they've just put random numbers in for some of them. So we have all different things here. We have wooden armor, we have beams. What do beams do? Okay, improves our buildings, I suppose. We have leather, leather armor, barrel making, archery, different types of farming. Dwarven metal, bone carving. Weapon smithing, tar, chalk armor smithing stone what else have we got brick construction road building stone fortifications iron weapons iron armor sawmills and bog iron i assume we need that for forging i think it says yep so we have all these research things but we've only got two research points and i think the minimum we need is three maybe four so yeah we need to work on those I think this has potentially cleared a bit of the fog. Possibly not, though. I am going to set some trees to be cut in a minute. Problem is, with just five goblins and lots of little jobs to be done... Look, they're both fishing now. Come on, get me a fish. Daddy goblin wants a fish. No, they're not that good, are they? Still saying that one of them does have a fish laid out here. Yeah. Fresh fish, yeah. You gonna get me a fish? Come on. There you go, he got a fish. Two fish. This guy's a champion fisherman. Whereas you, you're just shit. Does he have fishing there? Oh, uh, he has fishing one. Okay, so he's upgraded a bit. I imagine the other guy had better skill with fishing. That's why he's getting more fish. So we have our storehouse or storage shack built. So what will happen now is all the stuff laying around that we've set to actually have in storage, it'll get carried over there. I think storage is a low priority job. Is it? Yeah, low priority. So they'll bring over stuff, fill it in storage, it will last longer. I do want to go for smoking so we can start smoking the fish. And with the smoked fish, they will last for longer and not go rotten and dissipate, so to speak. Right, how's this doing? You can't build in the fog. I've tried doing that before. I assume it's knocking back the fog a little. It's a long way to go, though. Alright, let's try building another one on the border. I mean, it's only a log and we have trees for days. We don't need to worry about those so much. 
Where were you, Raven statue? Got one there. On the edge of the fog, and hopefully that will push us slightly further towards this. So for the exploration, one of the goblins just comes up and walks around. If it's in fog, he just constantly says he's lost. There you go, we've got our weather vane. The wind is blowing in that direction. It's good to know. No idea why that's useful. None whatsoever. It's just a demo game, so it needs to be fleshed out. All right. I assume I just need to wait for things now, wait for research points, wait for things to happen. So I'm going to speed up the game and there'll be a cutscene here and I'll be back in a second. Back. I've obviously done something wrong because my guys are hungry, protein deficiency, they've got scurvy and they're thirsty as well. I don't know why that is. It's not happened before when I've tried this, but anyway... So I have Raven statued the fuck out of this place and we have got to the ruins. So now if I click explore, Scargrim is going to come over. He's going to walk around here and hopefully explore these ruins and we get something out of it. All right, where are you, Scargrim? How do we find you? Um, We don't have a list of people. We have a list of jobs, though. There's Scargrim. Okay, they've just had some food. They're happy now. Hopefully they have. Let's slow this down a bit. There you go. He's explored the ruins. He's got some new stuff. So farming. Hooray. We can build turnips. And there's a fire. They always fucking start fires with this cooking pot and it burns everything. We do have earthenware pots though, so they should put out the fire. So they just weren't eating. So this guy, once he's finished eating, hopefully the protein and the scurvy will go. Because we've got apples. It's not as if they're on a fucking boat or anything like that. Get rid of your scurvy. Yep, he's good. Satiated. That means happy for you or I. Right, um, we got farming. So that's a whole new building things going on. So we can build... Where are you? Simple farm plot. So we kind of need some space to do that and we'd ideally want it on good fertility so if we show fertility how can we show fertility we can do it on an overlay all right so it looks like this clay pit's the best so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clear some flora here hopefully it will be done relatively quickly and then we can build farm or build farms so there are other ruins out there. We've just explored this one and we can, I think, demolish it. I don't know if that gives us something. Um, maybe it will give us some stone or something like that. Who knows? Anyway. All right, let's focus on the farming for now. And let's speed things up so the farming gets done. Looks like clay's good for farming. Assuming that the green meant good fertility. Oh, right, okay, we can't actually fucking build on that. Yeah, okay, clay isn't good for fertility. Let's do it somewhere else then. So this whole chopping the forest is redundant. If we clear some flora over here, we build our farm pots here. Right, it's going to take a while. I will be back again <laughs> once it's uh, done. As you can see, though, the snow is coming in. The season has changed. It's now year two, early winter. Oh shit, we actually have some technology. Maybe I won't be back when I'm done. So if we go to technology, we can unlock something. And I'm going to unlock smoking. And that will allow us to build the smoking shack. So fish, once it's harvested, we can now smoke it. And then it will last for longer. Um, let's place it up here. There you go. Can we set smoke fish up? There you go. So if we set 10 smoked fish, we do the smoked wolf meat as well. Oh, black currants. Let's do 10 black currants. I think we're getting these from chopping down trees. That's where they're appearing from. And 188 branches. Wow, that's quite a lot. All right. So, yes, as I said, I'll be back once these are chopped down and I'm ready to build the farm. Right, we've had... Oh, we've got a new... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. New discovery and weapons. So we can build... Or it unlocks these things. We can't build them just yet. 
and we can build a weapons crafter shack. Right, I need to slow this down. I need to get a guard back in here. So we have a wolf here. A wolf is attacking. Unless we have a guard come over, we're pretty much screwed. Come on, someone come and be a guard. Oh shit, that goblin's dead. Can we prioritise? We can't prioritise. Bollocks. Bollocks, bollocks, bollocks. Goblin down, goblin down. So, the cross is above our head. That shows... Hmm, shows the health. I think that was about five or six crosses and then he's done. Still knowing in the guard's hut, but the wolf's eaten our goblin and is fucked off. We're now down to four goblins. Bastard. Oh well, let's disable this shack again, seeing as no one wants it to come. They're all doing other things. Right, so, yes, farming. Where are we? Simple farm plot. Build. So we can build to any size we want. Let's do this size. That looks good. So at the moment, we can only build turnips. We do get other things as well. And then we have a slider here. So turnips left to flower. So if we leave 34% of our turnips less to flower, we get two bunches of turnips. And then the second year we only have one bunch of turnips, but 70 seeds. So we can amend this. So if we leave 55% to flower, we have 115 turnip seeds and two bunch of turnips next season. We also need to store the turnips. So that is somewhere a turnip hole. I'm sure you've heard of a turnip hole before, but yeah, this is where we store our turnips. I don't think it matters which way round it goes. So, turnip hole, we store our turnips and I assume we keep our lovely juicy turnips fresher for longer. Fucking hate turnips. I'll eat them if they're thrown on a roast dinner, but yeah, don't really like them too much. Sorry out there if you do, not a fan. A turnip could go extinct and I wouldn't really care. Right. Is there anything else? There's one other thing to build and that's... Oh, we got the death notice. Atolls died or Amol. Sorry, Amol. Smoking workshop. We've got a smoking shop. Oh, no, we haven't. It's being built still. Amol's died. Smoking workshop. Smoking workshop. And mill to produce flour. We don't have a mill. So we can now add turnips somewhere. Ooh, stone mace. Let's get five of those. And let's just keep ten turnip seeds. And ooh, we can do wooden spears as well. So once we make the wooden spears, we can change what weapon our guard has. So once a wooden spear is made and we enable it, the guard will have a wooden spear. And if we had a guard when that wolf came, we would have killed the wolf. But we kind of let our goblins go and do other things. Right, we need a butcher's to produce wolf meat. We haven't actually killed a wolf, so it won't let us build the butcher's. If we killed the wolf, we would have got the butcher's. Oh well. So, again, I'm going to wait for things to happen, and then I will be back once I can build a new building. And I'm back before. Right, we have shamanism. We can now build a shaman's hut. So let's plonk one of these down. Where are you, shaman's hut? Here we are, just below the sauna. So if we stick this just here, that'll do. So we have a list of spells. We can't actually see them properly yet until we build the shaman's hut. Um, so yeah, in the list of spells, there's things we can do, things we can make. So let's get that built. And there you go. We have our shaman's hut and we have a worker just standing here, which is... Pretty fucking useless for us at the moment. That means we only have three workers w working because we haven't had any new ones come through to Gateway Rock. Um, so with the shaman, yeah, and the farming, it has dates. And yeah, we start sowing when the time hits there. Okay, that's good. So these fields are going to be fallow until that point. So we can now look at the spells. We can summon a wind head. The shaman summons a whirlwind. Um, which attacks the enemies. It will then travel with the wind until displacing. I suppose this weather vane up here probably helps us know which way it's going to go. 
Um, we also have clear the forest. We summon spirits, or the shaman summons spirits and clears the forest in a selected area. Carry, so spirits will carry stuff to storage. Bless a sacrificial tree, no idea what that is. If you're finished, you'll probably know this while you're sitting in your sauna watching this. We can summon a wind's head. A whirlwind uh, kills the enemies. I assume that's bigger than something else. Oh, we can do that. Okay. Ah, right. I've put in fucking letters up there, so it's moved it around. What else can we do? Turn undead. We can drive up ten, up to ten minor spirits away from the camp. The spirits aren't really used in the demo that I can see. So, yeah. And we can uproot stumps. So, we take out a tree stump. That's useful. So, for now, we're going to summon a wind head and see what we can do there. Let's actually summon it on this dude here. There you go. Look, he's flying. So it will pull up trees, clear the forest, and it's okay. We've just killed one of our workers. Oh, we've got some new population come in, though. We're back up to five. That's good. So things have come through the gate. I didn't notice that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's as much as you can do in the demo. It will be out in 2024, hopefully. It looks quite promising. Um, if they flesh it out and do more of the buildings, which you can't do, and obviously make the technology trees so we don't need 900 to research things. Bit of disparity there, 4 and 900. Yeah, which one are you going to go for? I think there's a few other things you can research here, and you could probably get to them in the demo. But I'm not going to because half the buildings you can't build. It's not worth it. I think the main aim of the game is just expand out into the forest. And there's more ruins to explore which will give you more research. And yeah. Yeah, it looks quite good. It looks promising. Similar to RimWorld but different. But yeah, I'm going to put the link in the Steam dis in the description of this. So if you're interested in playing a demo, by all means, have a go and add it to your wish list as well for when it comes out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll be back again soon with something different. Bye bye.